yes people Liverpool back in the winners column and it's away from home who knew dreams can come true man and you know the start of the game uh, you know Leeds did what everyone expected them to do they were very very defensive they were compact made things really really difficult for us in the final third and looked to play on the counter and all credit has to go to the centre backs in the first half for the most part of the game because they made it they made sure that these Leeds players knew that they were in a game no nonsense defending switched on aggressive front foot defending and Liverpool the attacking players midfield very slow uh, very laboured uh, no real dynamism and you're thinking oh it's going to be a frustrating one it's going to be a difficult one you know uh, Leeds being really really difficult to break down and a bit of fortune you know ball comes off of Trent's elbow is it handball for me I do believe it's a handball do I care absolutely not he finds Mo Salah Mo Salah sw switches it back to him and you know Trent drives it across the across the box and somewhere in Manchester you know, Pep Guardiola is creaming himself. And we're 1-0 one one to the good. F four minutes later, Diogo Jota for me, who looked very, very rusty up until this point. And after this, was ecstatic. Wins the ball in the middle of the park. Nice driving run. Mo Salah peels off of his man. Nice diagonal run as well from him. Find, uh, Jota uh, slides in. Mo, Mo, strikers finish. He's missing from the penalty spot. But boy, can he score from open play. Doesn't even need to look up. Puts it past Melia and Liverpool are 2-0 up. Second half come out and one of the two, one of the two dynamic duo um, who are credited in the first half, you know, not switched on at all. You know, whistle blows, leads come out, Liverpool players nowhere to be seen. Dilly Dally's on the ball. Uh, Sinestro or whatever his name is, you know, uh, picks his pocket. Nice finish, comfortable finish. And Liverpool, def Liverpool defence at sixes and sevens at this point. Uh, another Leeds attack, Andrew Robertson heads the ball into the middle of the park. Worst defensive header you could possibly do. You know, Brennan Allison looks to bend the ball into the back of the net, misses some, somewhat close. Um, still a good chance for him. And then Ali just goes ballistic at his uh, defenders. And after that, we switched back on. You know, um, started winning 50 50s. We started putting pressure on leads who were clearly, clearly, clearly more open now. They were trying to attack us. There was more space in behind for to, uh, small space in behind for us to exploit. You know, off the back of a throw in, a Liverpool throw in. Um, Gakpo and Jones press press the ball. They win the 50-50. Jones, nice pass to Diogo Jota again. You know, I, I really want to single him out because I think that this was a really good game for him. You know, he hasn't scored for over for about a year and, you know, gets onto the ball. Melier flies out and, you, and you're thinking he's probably going to miss the worst person for it to fall to. And, you know, a really, really good finish. Uh, it's like he's scoring every single week. And then from then on, you Leeds, they played into our hands, to be honest with you. You've got a as great as we were, Leeds, they weren't smart about there. The game management wasn't there. You're thinking now that Liverpool have restored their two-goal margin, maybe go back to basics a little bit more, you know, be a bit more compact. But no, Leeds kept throwing bodies forward and playing into our hands. Um, Diogo, Diogo Jota, you know, wins a tackle on in our, in our box, on the edge of our box, sorry. And, you know, nice one-twos between him and Robertson. Robertson... You know, finds a uh, great first touch, finds acres of space, drives the ball in low to Gakpo, who has the awareness to find a Mo Salah, who's just completely open. And how many times have we seen him do that finish? You know, excellent finish. And, you know, Leeds kept chasing, kept chasing, kept chasing, just made things so easy for us. And we don't need to go into the other goals. I really just want to now highlight, um, uh, what's it, Trent Alexander-Arnold, man. Honestly, I, you know, a lot of people, a lot of us were looking at seeing him in midfield. I wanted to see him in midfield. I was kind of fed up with him seeing him at right back because... Just constantly, just left isolated, constantly like looking like he can't be bothered at right back. But in midfield, boy, he looks re this midfield role. He looks rejuvenated, man. Like he was playing three different midfield roles while also trying to cover right back as well, man. Like you know, he's the metronome. He was t he was like in our second half, man. He was he was the one that was keeping uh, the tempo. He was controlling the tempo in midfield. He was going box to box. You know, he was playing like as that deep, uh, deep line playmaker. And oh my gosh, that ball, look, out of nothing. Li, li, like, first of all, Darwin Nunes, excellent run. The way he just holds his run and it's time to perfection, right? And in, com in it combined with the perfect weight of pass from Trent Alexander-Arnold, lovely chest control, gets the ball out of his feet and it's a nice left, uh, nice finish with his weaker foot. But for me, I just Trent was everywhere today. He was everywhere, anywhere he needed to be. He was excellent today. And I really would love to see going into next week, uh, sorry, um, on going into Saturday, that uh, 
we look to play Gomez at right back and actually move Trent into midfield. Like I said, man, I don't personally think we've got anything to play for. I know I watched a bit of the post-match last night and a lot of the guys, uh, Matt kind of like was trolling a little bit and said, yeah, yeah, we might get top four, we might get top four. And a lot of people uh, bought into it. But look, I don't think, I've already conceded top four. So I like to see, I would like to see some a bit more experimentation, a bit more positivity. Let's see some nice football. We basically play him once a week anyway. So, you know, there's a plenty of time for training. So I'd like to see Gomez at right back and see Trent in that right centre midfield role, man. But yeah, boys, um, really, really emphatic win. Great positivity. You know, we had to struggle a little bit, but, you know, we, we, sealed off, we saw the fruits of our labour, man, at the end of the game, man. Come on, boys. Yeah, eight games left. Let's finish with some positivity. Like, comment, subscribe.